my friends, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, at least a little bit, and basically let's go over what happened. So this is a PCO that resulted. Let's talk about it. So during the time lapse, Germany decided to get a little too unfriendly with us and decided to go down the path of just good business, which they just left out of the war. They got the war goal against Canada. They actually already went to war with Canada and they got nothing. So basically they just decided to peace out even though they got their empire back, basically because of us, you bunch of god dang Germans. So basically they're at war and we are, they're slowly encroaching into French territory, which I'm trying to race my soldiers back from Russia to, so I can help just crush Hamburg and all those nations or the, all these cities again. Uh, that's disappointing. Regardless, we gotta talk about these nations. So, uh, I took over Prussia just because I thought it'd be kind of appropriate. Him and Müller, uh, I don't know. We're, at this point, I'm gonna crush Germany or put them into two states. Just, I can't, I can't deal with Germany just piecing out all of a sudden. Let's see, Czechia is a puppet of the United States still, of course. Now, here's how I divided the peace deal between the Russian lands. So, Russia, the Russian Republic, is now a puppet of the Americans. I figured, because I didn't give them pretty much anything else, and this is a lot of territory to uh, administrate or administer, so I thought, you know what, leave it up to the Americans, they can probably do an okay job with it. Next up, uh, I gave Canada Belo Belarus, White Russia, White Russia, so I'm not sure why they still own this. Apparently they just, they just gave it straight up to Russia for some reason. I also gave Canada Finland, because, you know, I thought, you know, it's kind of cold in Canada, kind of cold in Finland, I thought that would be kind of appropriate. Next up, I gave National France to the French Empire. I gave them the Republic of Poland because Poland historically had some some sort of significant ties or some ties with the French as well as Romania because during the 20s in our timeline Romania kind of liked the French a bit as well so we gave French or French the French Empire uh, Romania and Poland as well as Syria because they had at least in our timeline because of the sykes picot agreement uh, they had some that's a big nose anyways um uh, I basically gave that to them Turkey released I gave Greece actually I gave them Bulgaria as well as Turkey, just because you saw how big in the time lapse Greece was. So I just like, okay, just give them two states. They did some more of the Magali idea. It is what it is. I took over Egypt just because I think that just makes sense from our standing. We should have Egypt. And actually, who owns this? Oh, Canada owns the Suez Canal. Eh, I'm kind of okay with that. Also, I released Arabia as a puppet of under, under us. And I gave them all of Baghdad just so that we didn't have to have another nation like Iraq come out. I figured, screw it. Just have a little bit less lag. We're still at war with the Yemen, so be it. <clears throat> I gave India Persia because I thought they deserved at least a little something here. I think that would have been a little appropriate, so. And India's looking okay. For some reason, uh, Japan eventually white pieced out with Siberia. Or we white pieced out with Russia before we capitulated the Russians. So then they released Siberia, which is a really huge state. They doesn't have a lot of manpower. In Japan, well, they got a lot of manpower and factories back. Germany is just a falling on us, I think. Yep. And let's see what else happened down here. German Empire still looks pretty bad down here. They're fighting the Union of South Africa. Brazil is a giant mess. Other than that, I can't remember if anything else really happened. Italy obviously got, you know, the coast because they really wanted it. Uh, I think I core this for them anyways, just because we could. Uh, Serbia. I guess it's not Serbia, it's Yugoslavia. I gave a lot of this Balkan region all to Italy, in which I kind of forced them to make the kingdom or just Yugoslavia. And Albania got a little bit of Kosovo as well, just because they could. Because Albania is a puppet of Greece, and they did really, really well. So, And I also I gave some more territory to Hungary so I could make sure that Romania kind of has another power here, like Hungary, to help upset the balance, or help balance the power in the Balkans, so that Romania doesn't get too crazy, not too, at least too sort of crazy. So, I think things are a little bit more balanced here. Obviously, we still gotta kill off the Prussians, or the, I mean the Germans, the German Empire, but it is what it is. Uh, anything else? I've been doing more and more of the British Reconstruction, which is going very well. All we have left is pass the Veteran Employment Act, which is really good. Uh, we're doing Implement the New Towns Act, which would be great. Enacting farm subsidies, enact business subsidies. That's awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And right now, post-war devastation is looking a lot better. It's still not really good at all, but, you know, whatever. We're focusing on the RAF. We've got the Royal Society. we got the IEDC Economic Advisors, New National Arms Deal. And right now, I decided to go with the Prior to Air Force because we're doing really well with the Navy. When we got Rebuild the Glorious Feet, Fleet, out, Dockyard Output plus 150%. That's just insane oh thank you canada thank you uh and then we got even more buffs of producing stuff i figured you know what that's a, that's a lot of bonuses already and i could use probably honestly more of an air force at this point so that's why i went with proprietors air force this would be an, this would have been a waste less supply consumption only minus five percent more planning speed plus 20 percent it's not bad but the benefit i think to the air force is just much better uh and soon enough we will get another research slot which would be great and we'll do some new royal marines which i'm, I'm surprised i did not take that yet but it is what it is 
We're almost done with our naval doctrine. It is 1947. It's almost 1948. This campaign's gone on for a long time. This is one of the campaigns where I've actually played for until quite a ways into the future. So, okay, cancel only. So be it. Uh, right now, we're not doing too bad. We need some modern tanks. I did edit some of these tanks a little bit. Uh, carrier fighters, tactical bombers, jet. I am making some tactical bombers as well as jet tactical bombers. I could honestly probably stop making these tactical bombers for now. So let's do that. Put on a line of jet tactical bombers. That'd be great. We need more military factories. Uh, let's see, attack bombers. I'm just going to scrap you probably. And we got another focus tree. No, we got the focus done. But it looks like... Go ahead and scrap them. Uh, we have got another research slot. Great. Let's do some Royal Marines. Because thankfully most of our experienced Marines came with us into exile and we were essential in... Or they were essential in recapturing the home isles. Those Marines who proved their valor on the shores of Britain will be instrumental in rebuilding the new organization back home. Better prep time, more invasion speed, and special facade... Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. Great, 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 great. And a fifth research slot. Just go and do back, basic backfire control systems, whatever. I don't really care. Maklik joined the Chinese United Front. Also, China went to war with Japan. I was not expecting that. Oh, Greeks. Yes, Greek aid arrives. Thank you, Greece. We love Greece. Greeks are awesome. The United Front forms. Interesting. Cool. So, yeah. The Republic of China went to war with Japan. Japanese went to war with these guys. Now that is... Okay, Italy. Okay, then. Well, good luck with that. Germany is fighting... Oh, they're, they're definitely expanding, but... At what cost? At what cost did you do this, Germany? You pieced out... You could have gotten all of Prussia. And then pieced out, but then... I guess, you know, they made their decision. to do whatever they wanted to. We want to make some modern tanks. Our light tanks are looking okay. The modern tanks are looking pretty god-awful because we don't have enough... You know, modern tanks. It is what it is. We got a lot of other stuff, though. Not bad. Not bad. And the Germans... I just don't know why. Like, just you should just stay in the just stay in the faction. We, you would have been so much better off. You would have had a pretty powerful United Germany if they, had they stayed with us. But you know, they chose not to. And this time, we fought on this side for so long. Why would you do this to us? Uh, oh wait, we need to call in our ally. And by ally, I mean I mean I mean my puppet. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six. Good, 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 good. I mean, just a bunch of dum dums. Oh, uh, we have you coming on as well. Please don't die in the water. Also, we do have a small little navy here, which is kind of nice. It's four carriers, four pretty darn good carriers, and then eight modern cruisers, which is pretty good. But mm. yeah, you attacking us? Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out very well for you guys, especially since we have enough manpower for now. We're not mobilizing anymore. But I did have to go up to service by requirement, which kind of sucks. It is what it is. Let's pass a Veteran Employment Act, though. Nice. Very nice. Finland, we're going to destroy Triple Latania, apparently, or something like that. Crush these guys over here. Passive defense. Cool. Get more passive defense. 15. Four, 15. Nice. Yeah, the Germans are slowly encroaching in on the French territory, but they're, they're going to get pushed back. Let's be real. Let's be real about that. Hmm. So sad. And we want to build nukes, but obviously we can't yet. Special forces. Yeah, you don't even need to do that. Go ahead and come up here, too. See what you can do. Doing a pretty good job. Hey, you guys made it. All in one piece. Wow. Kind of, kind of different. Muscatty. Hey, thank you, Muscat. A hundred from... Uh, you guys are... So, uh, you guys are actually doing better than earlier. Nice. We'll gladly welcome a hundred so that we can do first Canadian refurbishment program. We get 5,000 manpower, we lose some consumer goods, lose some output, redeploy or deploy the refurbished ships. We could do that. Police crackdown, more weekly stability. We could do royal visits, royal tour. Eh. Actually, let's go and close that. We don't really need to see that for now. Uh, we might as well do that. Why not? Hey, look, we actually sunk an enemy convoy. Lovely. Yeah, they, they can't stand up to us, which is real nice. That was a real dumb move, guys. I don't know why you chose to do that. Can we actually win? It looks like they're not too strong anywhere. So, let's look at our Air Force, maybe. Um, we got air superiority, which is really good. Especially since we got manpower now. We got a few naval bombers here and there. That's really finally nice. Some more fighters as well. So good. Put one here, and then put another one right there. Naval bombers, I'll deploy you soon enough. Let's see where I'm going to put you. I'll probably put you back over here. There you go. 
still deploying. There was some major lag, but happy 1948, my friends. This is one of the few campaigns where I actually go this far into uh, this time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's a German Navy. Found it. That's a lot of ships. But then there's a lot of ships coming in, too, so... The French have lost a couple guys. Darlan. Oh, boy. Oh, God, Darlan. Come on. Get her. Yep, we got our planes in there. That's great. Or the carrier group, at least. Oh, boy. That's not good, America. Don't lose your ships. Don't lose your ships. Good. Oh. Some, some things there. Hey, German destroyer goes bye-bye. That's good. Oh, boy. What happened over here? Ah, yeah, the escort. The task force got sunk. Yeah, that's... Oh, America lost her some of her ships. That is a lot of enemy ships. I'm surprised they didn't find me. I think we just... Can we try general attack, maybe? We could try it. Uh, it's probably not going to go great. I'm going to continue, though, for now. They've got that much. Honestly, at this point... With everyone here, we'll probably split up Germany a little bit further. I'll probably give America the southern Germans. I'll give the French, like, the Rhineland, maybe... As a puppet, for now. Maybe they'll unify later on. But let's do the Thompson or Thompson uh, Committee. Nuclear power is the next step in our country's defenses. With the nuclear threat of nuclear warfare or weaponry, we can ensure we are never made it again. Cool. There goes a convoy. Convoy. Oh, hey! There goes a carrier. Nice. It's only an experimental carrier, but that's still pretty good. Even though we've already done all the nuclear stuff we can do. Get some more fuel. Modern oil processing. Why not? Mongolia, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Honestly, with our forces, we can probably strike actually pretty darn well. You know what? Screw it. Everyone else is holding the line. Concentrate our forces a little bit better. And then we're going to do another general attack, because we can. Yeah, these soldiers are pretty darn good. Now, the Japanese are probably still trying to invade. Uh, Yeah, this is not looking great over here. Hopefully, China does pretty darn well. They seem, to, seem like they are. It's a good thing we're done with that stuff. Get some better fighters eventually as well. China is pushing him out a little bit, which is good. Even India is doing a little bit better now that we're not focusing on too many different peoples. Uh, trying to get into Japan, though, is going to be a pain in the butt, which I'll probably do another, you know, uh, time lapse to help take him out. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Are you guys... Is Russia, the Russian Republic, actually fighting the Japanese or not? They are, which is good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we've concentrated concentrated our forces a little bit better. Can you guys go ahead and win? You might actually be able to. Yep, there's a lot of green. All right, so here's the idea. I'll probably, whenever, we'll split this up. So like I said, America's going to get southern Germany. France will get probably the Rhineland Germany, the Rhenish Germany. And then I'll get the rest of, like, northwest Germany. I'll probably put that under Prussia, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll have two Germanys. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll have an Eastern and Western Germany. I don't know. It really doesn't matter to me. I just don't want one Mega Germany since we just saw what they would do if there was a Mega Germany. Which is big sadness. If you need a repair, go right ahead. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> one Germany united under Prussia. That's too strong. That's just too strong. Hmm. I don't want to give it to the f too much power to the French, though. Hmm. Then again, we're not that strong either. We really do have Prussia. Maybe, maybe we'll do United Germany under Prussia, though. But that just turns into the German Empire, probably. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. How's Italy doing, though? Italy's probably doing pretty well. Amadeo. Oh, they're oh. Oh, they're out of manpower. Hundred divisions. Russia has. Ah, million manpower, nice. Oh, they're not scraping the barrel, that's why. Romania has 14,000, Hungary has 12,000, 52,000. Poland has how much? Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on. We gave you, we united this area so that you would have cores on this area. Hold on. I don't know if this is gonna, this is smart or not. I'm gonna core this area for them because this should all be cored immediately. They should not be wasting time with this stuff. That should be a proper Polish territory. I don't know if there's decisions in which they can do that, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Anything over here? The German fleet's still there, and the carrier's about to get sunk, which is great. Uh, hopefully. Hey, we ran over a few divisions. We lost 28,000. Why would you go to war, Germany? Why would you do this? You've caused so many more dead Germans. You've already done this once. Why'd you do it again? The UK, we have delivered the most casualties, followed by the French, and then the Italians, and then Americans, and then the South Africans. Wow. But 
Triple Tanya is not having a good time either, which is good for us. We don't really care. Well, well, you know what? I think I'll just take over all the items here. We'll just d divvy up the German territory that way. We might shatter them. If we have an option to unify them with all of Prussia, I'd be totally fine with that. I want to reduce the lag as well. Every time I play Kazakh, I always say that. I want to reduce the lag. I want to reduce the lag. Always want to reduce the lag. And also, Australasia is not having a good time. They're, like, they're dead, basically. Except New Zealand and Tasmania. Oh, also, in the peace deal, I gave t Australasian Confederation, like, all of this, which, I guess, maybe they gave back to the Netherlands. I gave, I gave them Indonesia. But okay. Oh, hey, communion. communion? No, Canada's inv invaded Yemen. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. Ever going to be justifying on people? I would just get rid of Afghanistan, then. Oh, of course, America and them would have, uh... War goals against Afghanistan. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take over Yemen for myself, and they probably give it to my puppet. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, Canada has a claim on this. Canada? Why does Canada have a claim on this stuff? Well, I'll give it to Canada, then. Those two states? Really? I think that was my territory, wasn't it? Like, it was actually British territory, but whatever. Um, you know what? I really want to limit the amount of states that are here. So, we're going to do this. This is not really smart for me to do. We're just going to court for them anyway, so they don't release them as a puppet. Goodbye, Yemen. Goodbye. There you go. I'm not sure what Canada's going to do with that, but whatever. I don't really care. If they release Yemen, I'm just going to give it all to Arabia or Muscat. Mr. to Platania, and we'll give it all to Italy. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Alright guys, have we won yet? Is the war over? How many men have we lost? 36,000? Versus 1.12? Jesus Christ, why would you do this, Germany? The Thompson Committee? Great. We need more ships to do more of this stuff. Returning the favor? Huh. We need more ships. Which kind of sucks. The Falkland Islands. Gibraltar question. West Indies question. The Imperial Restoration debate. Do we rebuild the Empire? We could, I guess. If we really wanted to. We'll see what happens. But I guess for now, with the focus is done, we'll just collect more political power. Because we can. These guys should be starving for supplies, though. Good, 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 good. We got so much air XP now. That's so nice. Invisible ink. Cool. Any partisan stuff? Because we can. We got so many agents. We could use them, but eh, we don't really need to. Where's the capital? Munich? That's what I thought. Spanish aid? Thank you, Spain. Even though at this point, I don't think we need that much more aid. Oh, we know the head of intelligence, because we can. Um, hmm. Oh, if we can get down there and cut these guys off, that'd be great. How's the war against the Japanese going? Well, not bad. Not great, but not bad, actually. Not bad at all. China's getting really up in their business. Must be extremely bloody. Uh, Japan has lost 1.3 million to the to China one, or India. One million to China. 400,000 to Australasia. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, the Australasian Confederation is about to capitulate. Wow, Chinese United Front. Half a million. That's not bad for the casualties they've inflicted on the Japanese. That's pretty good. How much more manpower does do these guys have? Two to three million. That's still not bad for the Japanese. Uh, about to get invaded in Sumatra. That's a big old navy. And that's not ideal. We might just go to war with China too because we can. We're going to war with Indonesia first. Who is coming into an Lubick? Okay, bye-bye. This god dang distraction. Ugh. So many more dead Germans. Why? Why would you do this? I'm just going to annex them all so we can divvy it up more easily. There we go. Liberate to different people now. Colonies don't get liberation. Just saying. Sorry. But not really. Cool. Alright, now we got to come back. Hey, look at encirclement. Not bad, not bad. Now we're going to come back over here and basically do the best we can to crush these enemies while trying to not suffer from bad supply issues. We'll see what we can do. Thank you, South Africa. A lot more aid than I thought I would ever get. Alright, light tank manufacturer. Mm, speed is not bad. I like speed. Heavy tank, no. Hard attack and armor. I like the armor. I like the speed. We don't ever want to get pierced. We'll go Rolls Royce. We, we can never go wrong with Rolls Royce. And let's go with some uh, advanced rubber processing. That'd be very good, very good. Could use some more chromium. And now we have our decisions. Rhineland, Northern Germany, Southern Germany. Return Belgian lands. 
Uh, I did give Luxembourg to Germany, so let's see about northern Germany first. The entire North German region has been brought under control. Currently, our armed forces are facing some opposition from the local populations. We can leave it up to the local governments and the region to take care of any dissident. North, lower North German state, and that includes the Rhine. Uh, it really doesn't matter at this point in the game. North German Union. North German Union. There you go. Uh, let's see. We could give this to Belgium. I guess so. Why not? But if it's not cord, I'm just going to cord for them. I don't want to see independent Belgium. Why would we want that? Cool. I should have given... Oh, why... That's a disgusting red. It's kind of close to us, though. Whatever. Welfare programs, huh? Uh, I should have given this territory to the... I should not own all of Germany, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, uh, let's see. You might as well do that, too. Germany's really divided. Oh, I kind of wish it would be like a way for all of Germany to be able to like unify once again. Oh, refreshed. Hello. That'd be cool if they can get like a little decision where they can all kind of peacefully form one nation. That'd be kind of cool. But now Germany's been shattered. Okay, now oh, we own all this stuff. Oh, God. Uh, Canada, you own Sierra Leone, huh? Moravia. Hmm. Hmm. Does South Africa have stuff? Uh, I guess we can do that. It's fine. Do you get Namibia or something? And they get what? Oh, they got all... Oh, crap. I gave them way too much. Holy cow. North Zambezia. Oh, that, that's a bit much. Honestly, though, at this point, I don't really care. There's social liberals. That's a, that's a route I was not expecting South Africa to take. But you know what? If they're okay with that, whatever. Portugal, did you own this territory before? You might have. I don't know. Actually, let's, let's see this. Social liberal South Africa. Recover British Africa. Asiatic Enfranchisement Act. Well, okay then. Complete the recovery. Hmm. Establish the Nouvelle Okay, well, whatever. I don't have to deal with it now, which is good. Let's grab you. And Fairy Edmonton, huh? Meteors, huh? Ah, oh, this is a better jet tactical bomber. Cool. Oh, uh, get the Waterloo because we can. Very cool. Anything else here that you should be aware of? Not really. Awesome. Now, how am I going to invade Japan? Oh, God. Supplies are going to be so bad around here. Uh, let's not get involved then. We are not going to go down that way. I'd rather fight down here, maybe. But even then... Oh, it's so god-awful. Oh, hello. What the heck? Why do you own this? Um, Honestly, yeah. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay. I don't... It's nice that you want claims on this, guys. But... I'm sorry, but no. I'd rather deal with the resistance. That just looks so bad. You, wh why do you have claims on this area? Do you? How do you have claims on that? Like this is this was a bit much in my opinion. But what the heck? Hmm. I don't know. Think about unifying these guys. I might unify them off screen. We'll see what happens. Uh, we won't go to war with Afghanistan too. But mm, supplies, even down there, is not. Oh, not very good. There you go. Alright, in the meantime. Undersea blockades, cool. Get some convoy interdiction, because we can. Just because we can. Any other ships yet? No, com dang it, come on. Alright, well. Mm hmm. I'm thinking, I might just go to war with the Chinese so we can break through here a little bit more easily. We'll see what happens, though. Because trying to invade... The Japanese is going to be a little tough, but we'll see what happens. Regardless, I think I'm going to end the episode here and do another time lapse just to see if we can destroy the Japanese that way. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, in which we will hopefully smash the Japanese. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.